Monday the 14th of January and I've just finished a full shift at work so I'm now walking to London Liverpool Street um, and I'm going to catch the first train I can get to Ipswich because um, I've got a appointment at doctor's tomorrow to try and see if I can well find out if I've got a hernia um, but that's more on that probably when I get home so I'm gonna pop to accessorise first because I just want to see what they've got I always love that one in Liverpool Street and then I'm gonna make sure that I start my readings for my first lecture back on the train and so yeah really good day at work very very quiet but we always find a way to have fun I always love the walk from Shoreditch High Street to London Liverpool Street I don't know why I keep saying London obviously it's London um, because as you start coming up to um, the entrance you start seeing where the city builds up so like bank in that area it always feels really magical and reminds me why I love London so much Headache has officially got 1,000 Oh, I thought it was a road um, Headache has officially got 1,000 streams on Spotify so honestly thank you so much from the bottom of my heart I can't believe it it's, it's all down to all you guys who have listened to it and downloaded it on iTunes it is on iTunes all the links will be in the about description of the vlog but yeah Thank you, I feel absolutely over the moon. this week we'll find out together so that should be exciting I just need to make sure that Raz can do it and that friends and family will be able to come because that's really important that it's accessible for everyone so it's a lot of planning that goes into the gigging side of things a lot of admin and a lot of time call the midwife I just thought I'd have a little relax and now I'm an emotional wreck it happens every time I absolutely love call the midwife the first time it aired on BBC one I watched it with mum I actually remember I think it was a Monday night and I had ballet and then I came back and we snuggled up and watched it and I absolutely adored it and um, I think it was I can't remember the main character's name but I loved her and so I just watched the the second or first episode of the new series that's just come out and I cannot stop crying and then when they're crying on it I cry and oh as much as I love it puts you through the emotional windmill 100% anyway so now it's time for me to do my uh, seven minute workout that I do with Lucy Winderman I think that's how you say it I'll put her channel below because it's been brilliant so I'm um, day three of a seven day challenge and it's just to quicken up your metabolism um, and it's just really good it's really helpful my dad was an absolute godsend and he got me a Bluetooth speaker, which is really unexpected for Christmas. 
um, and it is just an absolutely perfect addition to the room um, so when I do my workout because I know off by heart the moves I put on a playlist on Spotify um, I think it's called fitness beats and it's really good it's got like remixes and they get you going get you pumping make you feel like you're gonna get abs um, so I'm gonna put that on and I just try and take sips of water between each move um, and the other thing that I really love is she sh um, Lucy suggests that you put a positive comment about yourself after each workout so that's what I've been doing positive affirmations workout is complete and I feel so much better exercise is like a medicine for me it resets my mind I feel really motivated I feel refreshed I know that if I'm going to suffer from any anxiety it's not going to be half as bad um, so that was really good and if that's something that you think will work for you like I said I will tag Lucy's um, YouTube channel in the about description because um, she's absolutely fantastic I'm now about to do my music practice before I head into central um, so I'm going to start off with a five minute vocal warm up um, from the Jacobs Vocal Academy a YouTube channel and I always start off with that make sure I've got a little bit of water and then I'm going to start off by practicing a few covers going through my EP songs the EP will link to me in about description please go and check it out because um, obviously I've got to perform it a couple of times next week then the week after for the amazing Loxley's Corner um, I'll link that below and then I think I'm going to do a little bit of songwriting put some makeup on dry my hair because it takes years and curl it and then head into London I feel really warm and cosy and slightly sleepy and I'm not sure why because I had a very long sleep. I added a new positive affirmation from my workout um, and it is you can't build Rome in a day you are doing amazing just as you are. So if you're watching this and you need some words of positivity there for you. Right let's get going on music practice. I might do a few quick bits here because I'm sure you don't want to just watch me for ages doing an arpeggio. It's the vocal warm up done. Um, it is meant to be five minutes but I did half of it because I have got to head out shortly and so now I'm here. This is a Yamaha electroacoustic and I've had it for years now um, but it serves me well and now I'm going to go through headache. So headache, letting go and shall I be honest. And then I'm starting to write an original song. When I get into Central, I want to go to the library and um, add a little bit more to the Lima blog post, which might be up by the time you watch this. And I also would like to... Um, I've saved loads of tabs about women in music, which is what my dissertation is going to revolve around. So I really need to start the research because I am going to have to contact people and interview them and get information. Um, so we will see how that goes as well. I'm starting off by doing a literature review, so I think I'll struggle a little bit because I haven't done a literature review yet, but it shouldn't be too bad. I am off into London now and I am wearing my new DMs, which I just I can't believe that I've got them. I probably wear them with everything and anything. They do hurt a little bit on the back of my legs for now, but maybe I've done them up too tight. And then I've got my um, Stradivarius, I can never say it, skirt. Um, I remember when they all came out like in the autumn and I waited and waited um, to get one just because I wasn't sure if it was going to be a phase and like if I spent all that money like would it just go out of fashion but I think it was a good investment. And then this is from Stradivarius as well. I usually wear my big brown one from quiz but it's just too hot today for me like I'm a human radiator and on the tube I start sweating and it's not nice for anyone to see and then this is my new jumper from Topshop which I love because with jumpers I'm 
I find them quite irritating if they're proper wool because for some reason I get this like little rash and it's very itchy and it's not really a very joyous experience. And then this little necklace is just from New Look. Hello everyone, I'm really sorry this vlog is about one minute long um, but I still wanted to upload what I had because I want to keep true to Scarlet Notes promises. Um, so this is the end of the vlog. I've been a bit off this week and I've been a little bit anxious this week and I'm a little bit behind on workload of uni and it's just been one of those weeks where I haven't felt like picking up the vlogging camera and also haven't really had much exciting to vlog but next week to come so starting from tomorrow I've got lots of exciting things to vlog um, like my interview with Stephen Foster on BBC Suffolk and the live session with BBC Suffolk on Wednesday um, so that is very very exciting and I'm sure I will be more up to date with my workload too um, so I'm going to say thank you for watching this vlog if you haven't please subscribe please like this video please just be following Scarlet Notes because I will most certainly subscribe back. That is a promise from me to you. Anyway, good night, sweet dreams, and I'll see you next week.